Hi, I'm Jack from RoadsterCycle.com and I'd like to show you a little upgrade I did to my Edge Technology Tool Post Dial Indicator. I really love this tool. I love everything about uh, Edge Technology and all their new stuff and great tools, but this did one thing and I wanted to do a couple more things. So here we go. I'm going to show you what I did to help me out with the parts I make. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so this is the Edge Technologies uh, tool post dial indicator in my vise or in my uh, lathe. It's a Birmingham YCL lathe. Okay, so I do a lot of short things, okay, like this. Like, and with this, you can't get in there the way it is. It just, it, 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 you'll just hit, you'll crash, okay. So I'm thinking is what they wanted to do was something like this. Okay, turn it 45 and then get in there and do your part in your four jaw. Okay? You know what? It's not the way I would like to do things. So this is so this is what I did. Okay? So we'll take this get this baby back straight. So, first thing I did was I took this and removed the end like so and made a little adapter. Okay, let me show you the adapter real quick. This is my adapter I designed, okay, for this, all right? Um, this is the biggest problem. You have to drill. This holds a 111, 111 to get it to hook on to the end of the okay with the other uh, two post or not two post end but the other screw to put it on onto your gauge okay this side I went about a 104 or 105 drill because this is really wild threads in here I don't know what they are I measured them I don't even remember what the numbers were but I didn't have anything even close to that so I drilled it a little undersized and then I took and screwed this and I held it with a pair of uh, needle nose pliers and turned this and screwed it on. And once it was in there, um, it was pretty good as far as that goes. But, you know, there wasn't a lot of thread depth. So I took it out, blue Loctite, put it back in. Now it's awesome. Okay. So that's, that's the biggest challenge of doing this whole setup is that. Okay. So now this was my first fix. On this, so I could so I could use it uh, for my my things better. Because, like I said, I do a lot of this up close to my four jaw. It just it's something I do. I mean, okay. And there's nothing magic about it. It just now I can get in here and touch off this, and look how close I can get. I mean, I can get really close here right and, and and do what I need to do as far as to get it centered in my four jaw okay so that was great so that that's one fix that I did for this thing okay the other thing is is that now I want to take and yeah hitting the light again mood light up okay now I want to take and I want to face this way I put stuff in there and I have to bump it flat sometimes because sometimes I have to take a thou or two or three thousandths off of it. Okay. And there's no way to do that with this. I have to get out another, you know, dial indicator or something because if you take and, you know, put this in like so, you're upside down and backwards and you have to use a mirror or something to read it. Okay. That's kind of ridiculous. So my next thing was... I only put one bolt in it so I wouldn't bore you with doing this. So my next thing was I took a piece of half inch by half inch aluminum and made a extender which can stay on all the time. This other piece maybe you want to take it off but the extender you can stay on all the time and, and use it. Okay.
Okay, so now by doing this, right, I can put this in and hold it with two screws, like so. Now I can get back in here and touch it off the face, or if you want, the same tool, you can turn it around like that. Okay, and come in and bump it flat. Okay, what you need to do. Okay, so now the tool for me is re really what I needed. Now I don't have to get out an extra, you know, magnetic dial indicator to put in or anything. All I have to do is take and flip it around. Okay, so now you see that. So let, let's leave this long piece on like this. Okay, I loosen up my two screws. Pretty simple. Okay, take it out. I'll move my quick change over here. Put this back in short like so. Okay. Now again, if I want to do long piece or that type of thing, no problem. I can leave this on or I can turn it straight up like that, out of the way, so if I'm doing a long piece in here, let me see if I can get a long piece real quick. Okay, so we'll whip this out of here. And we'll put in something long, something that I won't crash my tool into the vise. Okay, so now I can go right back and use the tool for doing that. Okay, as you notice I have a ring on, okay? It's a rubber ring, which still isn't a good idea. You know, if, if it catches me and pulls my hand, that's a problem. So don't ever wear rings, don't, don't wear anything when you're working on a lathe. I just know I'm not turning it on and, you know, I am married and love my wife, even though it is black, which means you know, whatever. But anyway, so it's a rubber ring, so I've been a mechanic my whole life, so that's an Amazon part, if you want to know. And they actually sell those for people like firemen and mechanics and that type of stuff, so you don't crush your finger. Okay, so anyway, so there you go. So that's your fix for your Edge Technologies dial indicator. Okay, and I love it. It works great, it's fast. Hopefully, I don't lose my sponsorship, but then again, I didn't have a sponsorship with them and I'd love to have a sponsorship because like I say, I love their stuff, okay? And a real quick, something else that kinda, I kinda fixed on their thing was this, okay? I love this thing, it's awesome. I added a magnet, okay, on both sides for quickness. Okay, so now I can take this and put it right there on my tool post. Just like that. I can put it right down there. That way I don't lose it. It's always there for me. If I need it, it's quick and easy. I don't have to go into the toolbox to find it. It's right there. Yes, it's a magnet, so will it get chips on it? Of course it will. Okay, so if you're doing something with fine parts and it's, you know, blowing everywhere, take and move it back or move it out of the way. You can move it, you know, uh, anywhere on your machine, you know, except here. Don't put it there, okay? So anyway, that's it for me, jackroadcycle.com. Thanks for uh, stopping by, and I hope that helps some people uh, fix their edge technologies uh, tool post. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.